Yeah, so hi guys, welcome to my channel once again. Yeah, you're welcome. So as you can see, work is going on because I used to update you guys on this on this particular place. Yeah, they are they are on the ground floor now. They are about to to complete their ground floor. Let's see. Okay, so and this is my my face okay so let's go to let's go to what we want to do today let's go to our, our own side yes so I'm going up going up going up so we are we are done with our columns I think it's just few that are left so we are almost through with the casting of our columns. Yeah. As you can see, we are almost through with all the columns. Just a few that are left. Just a few of it. So we are almost through with the columns. So as you can see, they are still fresh. Not like those ones that, that have red paint on them. You can see. So I've not, I've not transferred any level on this column. So and that's what I will be doing today. For the for the slab can can start, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Yeah, so you can see here, you can see this sign here. So that's where I used to write this L. That's where I used to write the levels that the the, 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 the carpenters will take to the bottom of their formwork, to the bottom of the beam. So they will do their calculation and do. I will give them the level anyway. I'll give them the height to the bottom of their beam so i think it makes it more easier for them so yeah so let's go that's what i want to that's what i want to do today i want to transfer so the first thing is i will, I will establish a, a benchmark so as i used to say it the first thing is to establish my own benchmark so on this project i've said it earlier in some of my videos i height of where we are going so i use 1.5 as my benchmark on this project so you can decide to use one meter on your own project it determines so it is the surveyor that will choose whatever is going to work for him or her so you are the one that will decide that but on this project i'll be uh, i use one 1.5 meter so now i will establish 1.5 meter on one point or maybe on a column spot on one column so after that one so i will just transfer that same level i'll transfer it around on on all the columns so that's what i want to show you today i want to i want to do it again i've done it in some of my videos so i just want to i want to do it again so that you guys can see it in in a new in a new form so that's what i want to do today so man Ah, so uh, yeah that's my that's my colleague so we, we are working together on this side um, so I think we are done with the temporary adjustments yes it's, it's fine as you can see so so what you will do for me is uh, take your tip and establish 1.5 meter on that column. So not down first. Let me check. Take your staff.
Okay, as you can see, I has established the 1.5 meter. So I will check from here. Check the readings from here. So I want to check the readings from here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I've I've checked the reading so I can now transfer it around. But there's another another method again, but it's just like the same thing. So Mark, remove the staff. So you place it on the ground. So as you can see, so that's another form. It's just like the one we first did. I can do it again like this with the staff, check the ground floor. But this one now, after your observation, you need to do the calculation. So that means you will subtract 1.5 meter from your readings from this staff. So whatever you get from it, subtract 1.5 meter. So your final answer will not be the, the level that you'll be transferring around. And if it is one meter, whatever you read on this spot, you subtract one meter from it. So that's going to be the level that you'll be transferring around on, on all other colors. So that is another method of establishing your, your benchmark. But uh, here now we you can see to this car park we have the same we have the same floor so what i'll just be doing is i don't want to i don't want to introduce another benchmark you know i don't just want to introduce another benchmark so i'll just transfer you can see the level here can you see those red paints so i want to transfer them to this to this side so i don't want to introduce another benchmark so there won't be there won't be discrepancies so i'm going to transfer the level on that side down to this to this spot so i just put you guys through on how i how i established a new benchmark so those are the two methods is that i use your tape or you can use your staff also to to do the uh, establishment so let me i will ask him to go to that side so mark oh, bring your staff so i'll ask him to go to the other side to check the benchmark for me so that i can transfer it to to this side so you go to any benchmark that I can see on that side. So let's transfer it here. So that's all. That's how we do it. So it's as, it's as easy as that. So we go there now, check the benchmark for me. So whatever I can see on that spot, whatever my reading is, so it's the, it's the same reading I, I will be transferring to, to the rest of the columns here. So that's, that's how we do it. So as you can see, is is there already? Let me zoom it so that you guys can see it. Can you see? So it's there now. So I will just check my observation, check whatever I can read from that spot. Uh, let me clear my focus. Yes. Okay. not clear enough okay so from my readings i can see uh that is that is 30 mm from the from the staff so i can read 30 mm from the staff so it's the same 30 mm that i can see from that spot so that's what i'll be transferring round come over so that's what i'll be transferring round to to these columns so i will know that i have the same heights all through on this floor so there will be no discrepancies so that's how i do it guys that's how that's how i do it so you can use any of those methods if you want to establish your own benchmark you can use your staff you can use your tape also uh, let, let me show you the one the one he marked the other time you can see so this is the one he marked the other time but i'll ask him to come and recheck again so so you can use your staff you can use your tape you can use your measuring tape you can use your staff but once you are using your staff to to establish a benchmark so whatever the readings you can see once they place the staff on the on the slab on the ground floor on the floor so whatever readings you can see there make sure you subtract whatever you want your benchmark to be you subtract it from it so and then your your final answer will now be the readings that you'll be transferring around on all the columns 
so thank you thank you guys thank you for staying all through thank you so if there's any questions if there's anything you observe or any observation or any question that you have for me just drop it in the comment box i would surely attend to them and if it is possible for me to do a video on those on those comments on those questions i will definitely get it done so thank you guys so see you next time bye